and gentlemen, welcome to another edition of Is It Shit? with me, Dan Peters, and me, Sean Vincent. And today we're looking at... Uh, it's the PSP Infini Strip. The what? The PSP Infini Strip. Okay. Infini Strip. Infini Strip. Okay, so take us through it. So it's basically, it looks a little bit, or a lot like a 500 series lunchbox kind of we thing. We were just saying, yeah. So you've got lots of different EQs, compressors, filters, output modules, all these different things you can select and put them in a rack and make your own little channel strip, oh, custom cool. channel strip. Comes with loads that's of presets. That's very cool. It's really cool. And you can reorder any of them. Mm. And a really nice feature is that, let's say you install a compressor, which is basically a copy of an 1176. Mm -hmm. You decide you want to try a different kind of compressor. When you swap it out for the other kind, it keeps the set. Ah. Same with EQ. So although yep. they might need a bit of tweaking because they'll react differently, yep. it, it does make swapping things around, trying things out nice and easy. And how many different um, uh, modules are there? Oh, there's loads. I think there's, 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 yeah, I can't tell you off the top of my head, but there's lots of different, all the different flavors mm. of compression you're used to, you know, optical, the LA-2A thing, the 1176 thing, the, the SSL thing. They're all in there. Same with the EQ. There's something that sounds a lot like an SSL. There's something yeah. that sounds like a Neve. There's something that's very poltec -y. And just save as many different presets for things. So this you is your one-stop shop then. This is channel, buses, yeah. the lot. Yeah, I haven't had it long. And it's replacing lots of plugins. I bet. Because if, I tried it on my drum bus recently. Mm -hmm. I played it to you a little while ago. Mm -hmm. and it was... Wow, it was, it was just sounded great straight away. Very easy. I love the output module where you can adjust the overall sort of width and the balance and just just get it just right. It's it's a really nice. It sounds great. Looks great. You can adjust the size of it as well. So on, on your screen, which yeah. is really nice. It's a really nice looking plugin actually. It looks great and it, and it sounds really 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 cool. Yeah, I mean, I'm impressed. How much is it? I think it's around the two hundred dollar mark, which for the amount of stuff it does. It's not a lot of money, it's is it? It's not a lot of money, no. I think it could replace a lot of things. Like? Well, I'm not a big fan of Waves mm. plugins for various <laughs> reasons. And this, so far, everything that I was using Waves plugins for, this is replacing. Sorry, Waves, but <laughs> PSP just sound better. Yeah. Okay, well, PSP, of course, we were talking about the Vintage Warmer, weren't we? Yeah. Every Logic 5, Vintage Warmer. That's where we will come from. 100%. That plugin was groundbreaking. Mm. I remember reviewing it for computer music, I think it was, years and years ago. I'm blown away. Nothing, nothing digital plugin wise sounded like hardware, analog hardware, apart from that. So I'm not even going to ask the question. Yeah. Because it's not shit, is it? It's not shit at all. It's really it's right not up shit. No, yeah. I think it's sort of my favourite plugin right now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going to go and buy it. Sweet. 